Maka will focus on the victory itself first. It's another victory, seven unbeaten. That's three wins on the trot now. Another superb result today. Yeah, it is. Was it? We got five and two draws in the in the last seven. That's that's incredible form. And and, and when you add to it that we haven't conceded a goal in that spell, people. I don't think we, I don't think our players. And maybe the fans, maybe some of the older fans will recognise just what an achievement that is. You know, so I've just said to the players, they'll invite, invite you back in 25 years' time for a dinner or something, but you know, to, to remember the time where you had, you went, and we're not done yet, where you, you went seven clean sheets in the league. So it is, a, it is an unbelievable effort. It's just, it's, just, it's just their work rate. They create it. We give them a system and a structure. It's not, it's not too complicated. And, and they just they just go and provide everything out there on the pitch. The, the efforts of them, and I think I think the fans can see that. They've got a team. If our fans were allowed on the pitch, that's what they would do. They would run and work as hard as as hard as our players do, and commit to not concede goals. So I think that's the little connection that our our fans are starting to make with the players. You mentioned that 668 minutes it is now without conceding a goal. I mean, as you mentioned that. that that, that's something that, that will go down in the history books, particularly at, at, at this level as well. It, and again, it was, a, you know, a stable back five. You know, with Roberts in goal, Vassell, Hughes, Astles, and Hunt. It, it's starting to glue together now, isn't it? With yeah. a structured back five. But we have done that with changes. We've done that with a Hudson. We've done that with a worse not being there. You know, our early clean sheets in this season were with Evan Horwood. So, so actually, it's a shape in the system. The group all know the roles. Because there's not there's not an awful lot to it, but it's but it's correct and it's right and it's good and they believe in it and trust in it, and so they'll just commit to that over and over again. And when I need to bring people on, that's what's really pleasing for me. It's a, it's a real group thing. They they are outstanding. So when Chappie and Kane Richards come on and Wade Joyce, ugh, I just know you know it makes it easy for me on the touchline the, their attitude towards that and the other players when they're coming off they understand you know some of the rotation I've done this week with the strikers for them to accept that for the for the benefit of the group is is, is a real credit to them and what they think about the football club and, and what they want to achieve together it's um, yeah, it's, a, it's a pleasure for me to work with this, this group of lads Ryan Lloyd was the quickest to react today scoring the match winner he's been a superb acquisition hasn't he again back on loan for the, for the second time he's, he, he just seems to get better with every game doesn't he oh yes he he's got better you know he's a young lad who hadn't played a lot of games you know consecutively when he came in last season did really well for us but it was you know it could be quite tiring for me he's getting stronger and stronger he's played with He's played in, in, in pain right throughout the game today. You know, he's got a really damaged toe, and he did that. And Elliot Durrell did that for me as well. He was in some discomfort today, but they were able to manage that pain so that we could get, a, a, you know, not too many changes on the pitch. We felt like that was important initially, and then we knew we wouldn't get a full 90 out of them, and that, that people would be able to come in and give us some more impetus. So, yeah, yeah, it's, I, I really could go throughout throughout my my whole squad. Because you know, individually, there are, there are moments right throughout that game where where everybody does something outstanding that contributes to us not conceding the goal and for us winning that game. Another player I wanted to touch on, a player that again just seems to improve with every game, is Theo Vassell. It was a bit of a baptism of fire coming in at Gateshead with a three-nil defeat, but again, he seems to be getting better, and that would arguably be his best performance again today. Yeah, th thank you to Walsall and, uh, and Port Vale, and yet, you know, we, when we when we do loans, you know, we can't. You know, we can't do other clubs favours, <laughs> you know, and just play them and, and let them learn. And yet they've got, the players have come in, have got good attributes. They're really committed to this football club as well, which is important. You know, Liam Roberts and Theo you know, and Ryan Lloyd, they really commit towards us as a group and the, and the club. And, and that's important. We get so much support from Walsall and Port Vale as well behind the scenes. But we, we are developing their players. We try and do that in the, in the right way. So some of the mistakes that they might make at times. Hey, we stick by them, we try and educate them about that, but you know, they've got some outstanding attributes and they bring they bring something different to the the team. Yeah, Theo, I think, you know, with those forward runs where he cuts inside and drives past people, they're really important for the team. He didn't he couldn't do many of those today. I think physically Theo was really tired, but some of his defensive headers under under pressure from a big talkie team. We're, we're, we're very impressive. Some is one-on-one -on -one defending as well. Yeah, he's, a, he's got a good career ahead of him.
focus turns now, attention switches away from the National League to the FA Cup, a trip to Southport and of course John McCarthy against Steve Burr, of course it's not about that but it'll be an interesting side to the game and, and a difficult game at Southport won't it? Yeah it's not about that but every one of you media guys, that's the first thing you ask me about the FA Cup, you know, uh, uh, the answer I've been given to people are not going to duck it. It's rubbish. <laughs> it's a rubbish situation, you know, to go in against Steve Burr. I played. Do people know I played for Steve for four years? I played for him at Hucknall. Uh, you know, and we won the North Conference. There, he took me with, to North, which with him played for three years with him there. You know, and then I was in the same dressing room trying to win matches together for four years with him. We had some success over there. And we got to the third round of the <laughs> FA Cup together. We went and took on Sunderland in the third round of the FA Cup with North, which so. So we've, I've done that stuff together with him and then been his assistant for two and a half, three years trying to get results for this football club together. So, so to have to go head to head with him is, is, not, is not one. Socially afterwards, game, you know, in the future, game of golf or we meet at any events, you know, I, I can't thank him enough for everything that, he, that, he's, that he's done for me and, and I learned an awful lot from him. But on that day, all I can do is treat it as work be really professional and actually it becomes a point where it just becomes our players against theirs on the pitch so so we'll yeah I don't think there'll be you know there'll be some, some respect but I don't think it'd be too too friendly on the on the day because we're just at work we're just at work it's a different situation for us both and it's about transitioning that National League form isn't it across the FA Cup and, and what an FA Cup run can do for a side like Chester it, finance is very important for the football club we've been dealt a difficult tie you know, away at Southport. It's it is very it's a game that can go either either way. And I think both clubs know that, both sets of fans, you know, both sets of players. What we can do is prepare, but it, there's there is something different. It does have a different ingredient, the magic, the FA Cup that they call it. I'm not sh sure it's magic or what exactly it is, but it can it can just break your heart, you know, throw something on. So, you know, or, I don't know, just things happen, everybody, referees and everybody gets affected by it, different players who's somebody can just produce some special out so so we'll do all of our normal preparation we'll do some extra preparation and make sure we're organized and know everything about them but be prepared for some surprises as well maka thanks for talking to us no worries, no worries. thanks